the show about surfing and skateboarding. If you'd like to join the show tonight, give us a call at 831-479-1080. That's 831-479-1080. And now, here are your hosts for tonight's program, Neil Pearlberg and Terry Campion. Good evening and welcome to Off the Lip Radio Show. Number 53 here. We are broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. We have in store tonight one hell of a show. We have roped together here. Well, what's funny is the show started in the parking lot about a half hour ago. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it started long before that. (laughs) Started back in the 50s. But we are here tonight in 2014 with Mr. Vince Collier in the house. Yo, and yo, yo. Mr. Joey Thomas, JT and VC are in the house. What did you say on Facebook today? Huh? Uh, Initials, I, I, I think it was. Yeah, in- I said if you've ever paddled a surfboard in Santa Cruz, you would recognize VC and JT or something along those lines. And that, that's, that's true. You know, I was talking to these guys out front, and, uh, and I told them that when I was a kid growing up in Marin County, all we had were magazines and uh, the shots of... VC riding JTs the lane made me want to move to Santa Cruz. That's, you did, yeah, it was crazy. I, here. I packed my bags. We we do want to welcome uh, Mr. Vince Collier for coming on the show. Uh, and, my pleasure. And Joey Thomas for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Who wanted who who wanted to come on? Do you, do you want him to come on? Well, of course. Okay, some some stories to share. Just Where a couple. Where do I begin? Where do you begin? <laughs> so I think what we're going to have to do is the same thing as we did with Mr. With Hal Novak, was decade by decade. Because there's no way we're going fi- to figure this, you know, fit this in in just one show. No, where well, do you start? No. no, we can barely cover a couple of days of the lifetime here. You know, it's. Vince, well, I remember uh, the first time I ever really met JT is uh, I uh, had found a, a stereo system in Lighthouse Field that had been deposited by a thief, and I happened to be riding home and I pulled over and I was you know, relieving myself. And I found this brand new Pioneer stereo, and I went back to uh, my house, and I couldn't figure out what to do. And I went, oh, I'm going to go tell JT. So I told JT, and he goes, oh, make you a couple boards for that. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, in the meantime, my dad had found out and told me, well, you're better off probably turning that in. And it turned out later to be beneficial in my part uh, because of some troubles I had that I did turn it back in. That's a cool story. It's funny how he says now, way back then one, there was the trouble. Pioneer, story number one, the Pioneer Stereo. Joey Thomas. Yes, sir. What was the first time you, what was your first recollection of Vince? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, <laughs> uh, at the avenue, and he's, I heard this guy yelling, right? And I go, <clears throat> wow. This guy's a little uptight. And the next thing I know, he jumps off the cliff at, at Stockton into the water. I mean, run, he, he lived right down the street. Right. And that's the first time I saw him. And uh, I go, Okay, he's crazy, but he turned out to be one of the best surfers ever come out of Santa Cruz. So, Vince, I got to ask you a question. How's your health? You're doing, I know you had some... Oh. Something I think our, our listeners should know is that we've had a lot of shows on here, Neil. I think we're 53 now. And, right. And how often Vince comes up in our discussions a with lot. these colorful Santa Cruz characters. And, um, and you were telling me earlier you're working on a project. So, let's, let's, yeah, what's I going on? Yeah, I began writing a book, you know, sort of a memoirs type thing, but... Uh, it's going to be long, and I've got, you know, I've got a lot of good stories. A lot of good stories, and they're all true. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're all true. <laughs> and, and so, you're, what's the, like, I bet a lot of people be interested in this book. What's the ETA on this? Is it, do you have a goal? Well, you know, I'm still above ground, so, so <laughs> still, the story's still in, uh, in the making, I hope. Right. Um, and do you have a co-writer, someone helping you with no, it? No, no, doing it all myself. Awesome. Um, I'm, I'd like to get a publisher involved at some point in the future here. Or now, mm-hmm. either or, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting, and it's uh, yeah, I know it's going to be interesting. It, it can't be anything but. Can I name it? Because earlier, remember what I was saying? Westside. The mayor, the villain. There you go. <laughs> and the sheriff. There you go. That, that's it. That's, that's how. It. That is how I think of Vince Collier. There you go. And uh, and it's it's unique. Now let's talk about this today. In today's world, I don't think Vince's can exist as easy as as you did policing and holding down the west side for so many years my wife wanted to ask me how many times did you actually get in like trouble how many days are there in a year <laughs> but i mean and then the, some i mean because we all know you 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 held it down yeah, we had well, we had know, rufo uh, on the show what rufo say 
I had to go surf because I couldn't let VC down. Right. Well, you, that's that's a that's a huge compliment coming from Roof. You know, it's and so you had that kind of, but but at the same time, when you try to hold it down, sometimes there's legal and trouble can follow you. Well, yeah. Well, anything that's worthwhile, it's, you know, it usually costs you something. Did that ever come into your mind during those years? I mean, it seems like it was kind of the wild no, west. I was indestructible, man. Nothing standing in my way. Mm -hmm. Anybody, anything, I was going. <clears throat> and you yeah. saw that too, Joey? Oh, yeah. If you just made some, you know, better choices with some of the sponsors we could have had, he could have been world champion, without a doubt. You know, he knows it, too. Yeah. And let's, let's jump right into that. You killed it at Bell's Beach. When was that? Yes. What year? Was it 1981. 1981. Was you that your... one, right? <clears throat> no, I got a ninth. Oh, you got ninth? Yeah. But you, yeah. you, did you win the trials to get into that contest? No, or I got or... fourth in the trials okay. out of 160 guys. But, uh... That's a good story too. <laughs> <laughs> was that one of you, was that one of your greatest moments surfing that that, that point? You know, it, as far as contests, yeah. But as far as personal, you what's know, your personal what's your personal greatest moment that you can? You... Personally, it was probably going out and saving some guys out in front of my house at Mitchell's. Okay, a couple um, times. You know, at after dark and on a big swell, mm -hmm. and um, to this day, I I still don't think there's anybody that would ever do that again. Period. Right. So your book that you're going to be writing, did it, did it start off at like 300 pages? Now it's like 500 pages because it's way too, way more than you thought. No, to it's cover. probably probably in volumes, literally. I'll right. probably do a couple volumes, which would be you know maybe two or three, at a couple hundred pages a piece at least. Okay. But uh, well, let's jump ahead a little bit. So you, back then, you, now you got a proclamation from the mayor and a. And a medal of valor, medal of valor for that State rescue. Firemen's Association. And let's let's speed up to just a couple last month. You saved a woman's life at Mitchell's again. Yes, it was pretty, uh, you know, ironic that I was be there at that particular spot out in front of my house where I used to grow up, and uh, it was at night about seven thirty or eight, and uh, I thought I heard uh, what I thought to be a uh, an otter pup screaming for his mother, and. Um, at the very end of each little scream, I thought I heard a little LP, a little help. And then I would listen and it would go away and then it would come back and I went, man, that's somebody screaming for help. And right. so I had a, an LED bar light and uh, I jumped off the reef at John Street and worked my way towards Swift Street and Stockton Avenue and eventually climbed up on a ledge and found a lady who had fallen to 30 feet down and was seriously injured. She had to be medevaced out when it was all said and done. But... Uh, yeah, it was. It was. It's a. There's not not a better feeling in the world. No, I mean, you can win every contest and be world champion ten times. Saving someone's life yep. is the ultimate so, well, gratisfact satisfaction you can get in life. I believe. Right. Awesome. It's Great true. story. Yeah. Um, before we go to first commercial break, just want to run a couple of surfers by you and just give me a couple of one, two, three, a sentence about them. Flee. I can't give it to you in one sentence. Give me, <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I, I know, could. I know. Unbelievable. Okay. How's that? Rufo. A true friend. Rat boy. A product of uh, a lot of years and a lot of people's... Um, Desires and, and, and their, 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 their passions in life. Okay. <clears throat> Barney. Oh, boy. Tough one, huh? Barney. Yeah, the list is the he overcomes, you know, everything that uh, people shouldn't overcome. Peter Mel. Peter Mel. Well, these guys, all these guys are rounded into the same ballpark as being uh, younger guys from me that you couldn't describe them in, uh, you know, superlatives right. with uh, any... So we got to, what you have to do is you have to read, we have to read your book. Exactly. See? Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. book right yeah. now. There you go. Well, and, and before you go to break, all those are all guys who looked up to you and said that you showed them the ropes. I do have one more. Can I say one more? Mm -hmm. Richard Schmidt. My <laughs> best friend. Okay. Because we've had, we've had, we've had everybody in here has said Richard's the guy that everyone looks up to. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no, he's sure, your sure. best friend. Uh, this is Neil TC with the Author Radio Show. We are here tonight with Mr. Vince Collier and Mr. Joey Thomas. We are so stoked they're in the in the studio with us. We will be right back after this commercial.
Thinking of a vacation in Santa Cruz? Then contact Beach Nest Vacation Rentals at 831 7 to help you. So call us at 831-425-SAND. That's 425-7263. Or find us on our website, www.lifesabeach.com. We'd love to help you. Aloha Island Grill, located just a block from the beach on the corner of 17th Avenue and Portola Drive. Celebrating 10 years this month, we offer a taste of the islands in a casual setting. Come enjoy some plate lunch such as Kalua Pig, Chicken Teriyaki, or mouth-watering Mahi Mahi. Try a Loco Moco or some fresh Ahi Pokey on our sunny lanai. For to-go orders, call 831-479-3299 or visit us at www.alohaislandgrillwithane.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and please join us on Sunday, March 23rd for our 10th anniversary celebration. Aloha and mahalo. Aloha Island Grill is a proud member of Think Local First. And we are back with the Off the Dip Radio Show from Santa Cruz, California. This is KSCO, where they ask you to listen and be heard. This portion of the show is brought to you by Drug Free Solution, a leading emotional wellness company offering a solution for heroin and opiate addicts, providing, uh, providing, to, uh, providing, a, providing a way to detox sim- simply without comfort and normal and minimal, minimal physical pains. God, I can't read. You know why? Uh, gla- get the glasses yeah, on. I got my glasces on. There we go. Come on, old The timer. detox is an app. It takes three days. It's a damn app. You can then move on to the nine-month home program to cleanse addiction from your life physically, mentally, and emotionally. Learn more at drugfreesolution.com or check them out on Facebook. What? Ellie McLaughlin. God <laughs> damn, I couldn't see squat. Trivia. Trivia. Trivia tonight is brought to you by Felix Sand Dollar Ding Repair. If your, do- if your board needs to get dinged, fixed, bing, bang, scraped, scrubbed, polished, what else does he do? Uh, he fixes anything that floats. Anything that floats. Felix is your guy. <laughs> Felix is also hiring, by the way. So is, if you uh, need a gig. Hold, hold a everything. Job. I no. heard. You still looking? <laughs> no, he called me today. He goes, huh? call, he calls. I said, VC. He's hiring. Getting the band back together down there. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> Felix is hiring. So uh, if you uh, want to get your board fixed, the phone number down there is 722-4060. Felix is the best without any, without any question. Well, and besides, he's a fun guy. I can imagine working with Felix would be awesome. He's got a great personality. He's a yeah, hard he's worker. Yeah, he's down there at Manresa. You can go yep. fix some boards. You can go surf. 21 years of doing this is uh, uh, nothing to shake a stick at. He's one of the best. He's the guy. And you, the, what's the question? The question is, who was our guest last week? For, call number one, 831-479-831. <laughs> <laughs> 479-1080, uh, I'm going to give one away, a sweatshirt from the boardroom. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. 831-479, you get a sweatshirt from the boardroom if you call them right away and answer the question, which is, who was our guest last week? The phone was already ringing. I think is that was it? too easy. Yeah. Get on. I know, it was easy. <laughs> Joey. Yes, sir. What, did you start making boards for, uh, for Vince? Yeah. When was, when was that? Oh. Uh, when, did he? 76? No, it was before 71, that. 71, 72. No, when 70, I, no, maybe. When were you in junior high school? 71. <laughs> now, can you tell wow. us a little bit, can you tell us, <laughs> jo, can, Joey, can you tell us a little bit about your history, about when you started making boards, and just a little bit of your, sure. at the beginning for you? Yeah, I started surfing in uh, the summer of 59. Uh, here? Uh, no, uh, down in Hermosa Beach area, uh, okay. in the Fernando area. Right. And uh, in high school, I worked for D- uh, Dewey Weber surfboards okay. and running the shaping machine, which is a manual shaping machine, and used to make tail block and stuff. But that's basically where my surfboard experience started from. How many boards have you made, do you think, in the... Uh, uh, you know, I have... How, um, counted, how counted 30,000, right? Yeah, it was an ungodly number. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many you have? I have no idea. I'd say at least that many. That's a lot. I would, I and would, you're still yeah. doing it. You're still you're still doing it today, correct? Oh, you bet. Yeah, you right. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you to get a board, yeah, how to get a hold of you? Uh, um, you can go online. I got a, a website. Your website is very good, by the way. It is very good. I checked it yeah. out too. Yeah, well, it's a nice it's a nice great. website. Anybody listening should check out your website. Joey Joey Thomas Surfboards dot com. Correct. Uh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. So yeah. if you want to get one of the greatest shapers of all time, get one of his boards. He's still he's still here doing it. So vertical. Still vertical. <laughs> BC, no, how, how are his boards? I mean, you know, you've ridden them. Is there's he the, none better. There's none better? That's right. Look at that. Stamp of approval. Well, the Joey Thomas ad. It goes both ways. Huh? 
He shapes too. He's yeah, you know, uh, right? He shapes too. But now, who was the who was the greatest person to ride one of your boards? It was me. <laughs> Both ways. Yeah. My boards and his boards. No. That's true. Okay, Vince, come close to the microphone so That's we can true. Cause, okay. because thought, otherwise they lose you. Probably be uh, uh, Uncle Rich, Richard Smith, and and Rufo at an earlier age. Right. Yeah. D and. Um, you're still you're doing jujitsu. You're you jujitsu. I'm one of instructors. Yes. You're an instructor for uh -huh. jujitsu. Yeah. Where at? Uh, Claudia Franco jujitsu. Okay. Yeah, and also I'd like to wish good luck to the the guys in Claudio's uh, team at the Pan American Games this weekend. Okay. Wish yeah. those guys luck. Yeah. Where's okay. that at? Uh, L.A. I think. Is it in L.A.? Uh -huh. It's amazing the level of. Um, Jiu-Jitsu in this area. I mean, it's... Uh, it's incredible. And now, you're so involved with it. Is that normal? Or is, are we higher than the rest of the country when it comes to, like, how good the people are coming out here? Um, you've got some really good instructors here and some yeah, good schools. Really per good capita, schools. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Luke Rockhold. I know. Have you trained with Luke before? Uh, I know. Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you take him? Oh, uh, absolutely they not. They call him... <laughs> his new name... <laughs> it, what, was, what was Buell's nickname for him? Liver Kick Luke. Yeah, Liver Kick Luke. Liver Kick uh, Luke. Well, he's um, got a big fight coming up, and yeah. so... We're, we're wishing the best. Yeah. Vince, we're going to talk about the West Siders. Do you okay. go back and watch that movie at all? Are you done with it, or...? I've watched it a few times. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's, you, hard, it's difficult for me to go through that again. Is it? Yeah. There was a no... I mean, how did you... I mean, I ask you, how did you do that? Because it was a no-holds-barred interview by you. You just seemed to, like, let it... I had a couple drinks. You had a couple could, cocktails? Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest. I uh, no, need, it's need to lube up a little bit for that one, and... Uh, you know, I'm not, Did you I'm not tell? Shy. Was it was that that told at all, or do we have stuff to look forward to oh, in your no, book? Oh no, there's there's a that was the easy stuff. That supposedly. Was, yeah. I mean, there's some stuff about my daughter, and you didn't want it to where you well, want it to I go to. Well, I accelerated into something different that I didn't really want to get a part of, but uh, that's um, that was my own decisions, or 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 just the the place I ended up at, right? Through no new fault of my own, but just through. You know, simple choices that people make in their lives that bring them to points where they may not uh, be so happy with. But nevertheless, you have to either, you know, dig yourself out of it or, or run with it. And I did a little bit of both. Are you happy now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been happy the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Any regrets that you have? Sure. Okay. Sure. Good. Okay. Where do I start? <laughs> I don't hold on to them, though. I regret them once, and then that's that. That's it? They're gone? Yeah. Job. You let them go? Yeah, you yeah. have to. You can't carry weight that weight on your back. It'll no. sink you. And um, I'm unsinkable. Do you think you have far more supporters than enemies? Don't know. Okay. Okay. Don't know. TC, what do you got over there? Well, you, got, you get that bag of notes over there. No, it's, I, I, uh, I mean, we have some success stories in this town. You know, we, we recently had Roof and we recently had Flea on here. And, uh, you know, we're really proud of them. Um, but there was a time where it was pretty dark. And, Without a doubt. Yeah, and um, and there, is, there still is some darkness going on in, in this town, and uh, the, in any town. Yeah, and, and 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 so let's about eight or nine years ago, you kind of just disappeared a little bit. Yeah, well, um, I was disillusioned with my 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 uh, existence here in Santa Cruz. I wasn't really taking advantage of or appreciating it as much as I should have. So I moved away. I moved up north up into Humboldt and I lived on the side of a mountain for a few years and it really brought to my attention what a great place Santa Cruz is and w why I should be here because this is where I grew up this is where I feel the most at home and uh, it's where I think I'm probably most appreciated and everyone looks for that in their life some sort of vindication or you know appreciation um, yeah, of their exactly. efforts um, I don't get it on a regular basis, but I don't really need it. I know it's there through the course of my close friends, such as Joe and Richard and, you know, quite a few other people. But uh, the dark the dark spots, I think it's not so much an era, but I think everyone has them in your own time. There's no one that gets away from it unless you isolate yourself in a terrarium from society. <laughs> oh, you're back. But if you want to live you're your back. life, that's fine to live it that way. But if you want to, you know, have a full and round life, let it all in, you know. Don't shut yourself off from anything that's too detrimental. So, yeah. are you glad to be back now? Oh, I mean, without a doubt. And do you like do you like the way things are now? It's as far a, as what? Oh, uh, West Side, East Side, and the, the surf culture. As it's it is not right up now. to me. I had my time. Okay, I'm just had... sitting here watching it and kind of you know going, well, you know, things have definitely slipped out of uh, someone's hands, and uh, <laughs> I feel that the, the the younger generation they've got Nat Young to look up now, and that's right. that's a that's a can't beat that. There's no. there's, there's nothing better than that. Uh, 
someone to emulate that's like that. Have you had a chance to talk to him at all? Well, of course. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Joey. Yes, sir. Um, are you still surfing too? Oh, yeah. And where's your, your west side? West side? Oh, yeah. I'll always be a west sider. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your, your greatest memory surfing for you? Mine? Um, probably the South African Tonic Contest we had here. And, uh, it was a South African contest. Yeah. It was here in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Can yeah. you can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, it was a really good contest. The first half of the contest, I got first place in that. So and it was you know Sean Thompson and Mark Richards and you know Michael all, Thompson and yeah, all those guys. All those guys. So they were really had all green wetsuits. They were yeah. pretty incredible guys. But okay. that was probably one of the better contests that I was in and won the first round and got second in the contest. It's been, was it the lane? Yeah. Was it, who was it sponsored by? It wasn't the at that time, was it a? I don't even think they had a sponsor for that. Just, just, just a, just a contest. Yeah, yeah. just a contest. Yeah, it wasn't uh, any professional contest. Well, a professional contest, but there wasn't any organization to it. Right. And I do think. you do you like the way the surf the surf culture is at the present time, or do you prefer it back? And oh, I go you, back in the prefer, Do you like the old days? I, I do because it was just you know what? there's just so many more surf spots. There were no people on it. Right. What was your favorite decade? Uh the seventies. Okay. Yeah. Would like to go back there? I would. The music was good, too. <laughs> Classic rock, yeah, baby. Music was good. What do you got, TC? Well, I want to talk to Vince about Mavs, because um, I know maybe Big Bird and Tom Powers mm -hmm. surfed it a little bit before you. Right. And then they took you up. And then it was game on, huh? You took to that place. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. I, uh, well, it's hard not to if you're driving around or flying around the world your whole life looking for big waves and then you find out that the best one or one of the best ones in your backyard right it's uh you know if i hadn't i'd, I'd kick myself in the ass for sure well, you know we've, we've talked to a lot of the kids and they've said you know vc loaned me a board you know and then the rest was history you know we have mavericks champions and people who have you know become careers out of big wave surfing based on the you know on those stories uh, what's what's some stories you got for us out there? What was what was it like back then when nobody was around? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was really great. I remember being out it there and going up there quite a bit because really no one had any boards. No, one, the boards hadn't been built yet for riding up there. And, and I, for some reason, built a ten ten just because I was the biggest blank I could find, and I just built it the summer before I ended up going up there. And. Uh, Everyone else was riding their eight sixes, and, and that was about as big as we made guns back then. Well, and not to interrupt, but you rode that board that year at Middle Peak and tortured everybody. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you were just a as menace. As many people as I could torture. Yeah, I would complete torture. menace on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so you had a board. I had a board, and it was like, it was a magic carpet. I, caught, I don't remember ever eating it on that board, really, until I watched Skinny take it off of my truck and paddle out on it and break it in half <laughs> at Mavericks. Yeah, he told us that. Yeah. Did he pay you back? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very quickly. He's still paying me back. <laughs> Volcom clothing. He didn't like you in the West Siders movie. He, remember that? Oh, he didn't like me, period. He didn't like you at all. That's okay. <laughs> Join the club. Has Pick that a number. <laughs> Has that changed? You'd have to ask him. I will. I think the next time he comes on the show, I'll have to ask him. Hey, it's the thing is, you think about Wally. Yes. Um, Mike Walsh. You know, um, there's Cruteau, exactly, you know, and um, it's it's pretty crazy. But you guys kind of met working there, right? Is that what you both worked there at the same time? Me, who? Yeah, at both of you guys. Weren't you both working? Joe was in and out of his shops. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah I, well, I worked for Doug for quite a while when, you know, in the earlier ages. Um, but, yeah, we... Uh, you had your, your house over there on uh, Dufour. No, it was on... Uh, Oxford. Oxford. Yeah. In the shaping room in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice tickling boards. Oh, and also, how about Rick <laughs> Nui, too? Oh, you know, man. another, oh, man. another, another one of that mm -hmm. crew. Yeah, you know? there's a, quite a few guys that have fallen by the wayside, you know, and uh, I feel fortunate as as Joe does too. I'm sure that he's still above ground and still being able to surf, and you know, that's what I got to say to anybody who's gotten older and, and gotten away from surfing is, you know, don't be so quick to you know turn down something that God's given you. And you're able to just still do because soon enough we'll all be on our own little beds, not being able to do nothing. So right. Do what you can while you can. Vince, are you right now loved or feared? Hopefully both. This is Neil and TC <laughs> with Off Radio Show. We'll be right back yeah, after this you. commercial. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, I'm Keith Meek. Will you be an angel for Skidmark Magazine? Every day, Skidmark's employees are starving, cold, and neglected, and they are crying out for your help. Please subscribe to Skidmark Magazine and get on the Sticker Flow team. For just $15.99 a year, that's only four cents a day, you will help rescue a Skidmark employee from poverty and help provide food, shelter, and love. Download Skidmark Magazine app on iTunes or get a paper subscription at skidmarkskatemag.com and an employee will be given a second chance thanks to you. Right now, there is a broken, bitter employee who needs you. Please subscribe right now. Hi, this is Susie from Flip Flop Shops in Santa Cruz, California. We carry the hottest brands and the latest styles in flip-flops and casual footwear, which include Cobian, Olukai, Reef, Quicksilver, Roxy, Cushy, Scott Hawaii, and more. Where do your flip-flops take you? Do they take you to the beach? Do they take you down the street to the local coffee shop? Do they take you to Hawaii? <laughs> we have flip-flops for everyone in your family, from mom, dad, even the kiddos. We carry flip-flops with arch support. We carry flip-flops that range of very casual to very nice leather that you can wear out to dinner. If you're a Santa Cruz local or traveling to Santa Cruz to surf or skate, stop by our shop. We'll take care of you. Flip-Flop Shop Santa Cruz is located at 1528 on the legendary Pacific Avenue, downtown Santa Cruz. Greetings off the lip fans, Peter Mel here from Freeline Design Surf Shop Santa Cruz. With the holidays behind us, Freeline wants to start the year off with some good deals in 2014. We still have a great stock of high-end turbo bodyboards priced at 25% off. We also have a great collection of new surfboards starting at $399. And with over 200 boards in stock, we got lots to choose from. As always, wetsuits from Excel, O'Neill, Quicksilver, and Hotline help fill the shop. Stop by 821 41st Avenue, one block up from the hook. Freeline Design Surf Shop, surf in Santa Cruz since 1969. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hi, this is Tim from De La Viga Golf Course in Santa Cruz, California. Want to play golf, but you're short on time and daylight? We have you covered with our three, six, and nine short hole options. Start off 2014 with a complete golf evaluation, a swing lesson from one of our professionals, along with the complete tune-up of your clubs. Will sharpen your game and lower your scores. We invite you to join De La Viga Golf Club, the Santa Cruz Sentinel's reader's choice for best golf course, and take advantage of our complete 2014 tournament schedule. For further information, go to DeLaViegaGolf.com or follow us on Facebook and Twitter, or call the golf shop at 831-423-7214. And we are back with the Off the Lip Radio Show on KSCO, broadcasting from Santa Cruz, California. We ask you to listen and be heard. Coming to you the last 20 minutes of the show, if you want to call and talk to Mr. Vince Collier tonight, or our other iconic guest, Mr. Joey Thomas. Mm. So, TC, you, you mentioned that VC was the, was the mayor. Oh, me? Yeah, he yeah. was the mayor, right? So, okay, VC, if, say you were the mayor of Santa Cruz. You came back from off the side of a hill to live here. If you were the mayor, what would you do? Because the towns, we, you know, we've got a lot of issues here in the town. What would be Vince's way where you would um, help the town out, as it were? You know, I haven't been that abreast of the situations as far as politically concerned. But okay. uh, from what I can see, it seems to be... A loss of local... I don't know, Neil, if you saw Sean Dollar's post on Instagram. Yeah, his boards are on the freeway. Their boards blew off on the highway <laughs> no, in the Portland roof today. The, the roof rack 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 suit they're made of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ride somebody else's board. <laughs> right. Okay, we have Joe from Santa Cruz calling in. Joe, how's it going, buddy? Hey, it's going great, man. This reminds me of, like, the days before they built the staircase to its speech, man. I mean, th there was great times, and, like... I, we were working at Positively Front Street, man. We used to bring our boards in and stuff. And, like, you know, you guys were the gods, man. We always looked up to you. We were a little bit scared of Vince, though, man. But, like, you know, you guys uh, wait, were wait, the wait, best. Wait, wait. Okay, how, what do you mean scared? What happened? 
No, we're just, you know, just a little bit intimidated, man. They were just so cool and stuff, you know what I mean? We were just little groms at the time. But, you know, it was just like, they were just the best. I mean, they were like, you know, we looked up to him, like, you know, at Positively Fred Street. Like, we used to be like, you know, we were cooks there. Right. And we'd be like, we'd, we'd stick our boards in there, and the, bo- the boss would come and see the wet hey. sand prints and be like, well, you guys, man, dude, don't be surfing. Be bringing your boards into work and stuff. But we're just like, oh, man. Joe, but anyway, Joe, Joe, do you have a question here? Have we got a question for these no, guys? No, no, I just, I just want to call up and just say, hey, you know, it reminds you of the good times, but well, it's just like Vince saying about UCSC and stuff and the localism and stuff. I mean, we weren't fighting or anything, but we had a lot of pride, yeah. you know, in Santa Cruz and the surf scene. Well, I so think Vince still I has just, that pride. Yeah, man. Great show, guys. Thank thanks for be- thanks for being on, man. You're very welcome, thanks, Joe. Have, have a great buddy. evening, guys. Great show as usual, man. Thank, Later. Thank you very much. Well, I, I think you for a good point. I mean, I personally, if either one of you guys paddled for a wave, I just turned my head and looked the other way, you know. And that's just that was kind of the the old west that we've lost a little bit, and that goes back to your what sort ha- of localism. What would happen now if you paddled out of the lane? It's too many people. Not too much. Nothing. <laughs> now, what would happen if you paddled out the lane? 30 years ago. Not too much. <laughs> Get every wave he wants. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I, Was I, it I, like the parting, the parting of the Red Sea? Yeah, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. And you had garnered that respect? Yeah. And how did you get that respect in the first place? Uh, it was my wave, if you got it yesterday. It was your wave? Yeah. It didn't make any difference? Yeah. Is that something that you still believe in today? No, I caught a lot of waves. When so I was you've, younger. yeah. So you've had waves. your fair share. Without it, more than my fair share. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I you just got want my the very best too. ones now. <laughs> what would you, what would you say to a kid nowadays? Would you want him to do it your way, or would you want him to do it? I'm, I don't know your surfing etiquette, Joey, but let's say, let's say Joey's way. Well, that was part of my way. That's where I got a lot of it. Are you kidding me? Oh, so wait a minute. I didn't develop this. Uh, this the quiet uh, guy is uh, mine is mine and yours is mine. The attitude. quiet guy in the corner taught you how to taught you. Without a doubt. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, Joey. Oh. Hooked at the hip when I was younger. Are you kidding me? That's going to be a chapter in the book for sure. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay. Come on, Joe. So, Vince, I got a question for you. Who are you going to dedicate your book to? Uh, my daughter. Okay, and your daughter's name is? Molly. Okay, is she still with us? Yes, she is. Okay, still with us. she's in Santa Cruz. No, she's up in uh, Eureka. Okay, is well, she listening? Um, probably not. Okay, mm-hmm. and you guys still in good terms with her? Are you still in good terms with her? Or? Um, not really. Okay, All right. Maybe that'll change. Uh, l- let's hope so. Okay, That's the only thing send that really. Uh, her, I, send us some love on the air, and then you get the podcast. You can send it to her. Okay, I love you, Molly. There we go. Get a hold of me. Right. Molly's going to be giving you a call. We're going to think good things. What do you got, TC? I just love the fact that he just threw Joey under the bus. Completely. (laughs) I think that is so great. And it's true. Joey was a a feared character out there during that time as well. what, is it the jiu-jitsu or was it the... Because he's like... He's, like well, he's been doing karate for, you know, 30 years at and, least. And on top of it, he's an amazing surfer, you know? And so no, that, really. Yeah, that's that combination. Anyone hit, that surfs at that level you know, earns respect at their local spot to begin with. And then as you become a leader of the pack, you move up a notch. And both these guys had that. And that's... Um, and that's why everybody looked up to him because they had it, and that's what you want as a surfer. You want to have some respect in a lineup and get the waves you want. And right. so that's why all these kids looked up to these guys so much, t- and they do today. Kids, but I wanted to talk. No longer. So your eyes, you know, a lot of people have been asking us, what, like, how much vision do you have right now? Twenty-two hundred. And so, can you? Is that you can't see? F- I have no focus area. I'm looking at you right now, and I don't see your face. I see everything around you. My peripheral is pretty good, but my focus area is gone. So my depth perception has been dealt with you know, quite a blow. But, uh, you know. Is it difficult to surf like that? Oh, yeah. It's really hard. But what, what am I going to do? You're going to do it well, while you can. I think, yeah. Vince, you're going you're gonna to see that there's a movie coming out where those guys are going to come on my show, on this show. Uh, Beyond Sight is the movie where the young man from Brazil is blind and he goes and surfs pipeline. Pipe. He oh. surfs pipe. That's well, his I dream. I am legally blind. Okay, well, you can still surf. And he drove yes. here, by the way. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, he drove There's here. There's a blind guy in my video in that uh, 
thing I have on the, on the internet. Uh, but blind's a, a relative term, too. I mean, you would think of someone who is blind, that they can't see that it's such a black, you know, curtain in front of them. That, that's not the case. Um, it comes in varying degrees, and um, your brain is an amazing thing, and it tends to adjust to different uh, aspects of your vision as they okay. come forward. Question. You're, you said earlier, Richard Schmidt, I said to you, Richard Schmidt, you said best friend. Well, Richard Schmidt's the complete opposite, it seems like, of you. Right. It's like oil and water. How did that, how did that uh, friendship take, you know, take hold? Well, we just... Uh, it didn't seem like you'd be running in the sea, <laughs> running in the same circle. And they traveled together so well, much, we, too. Well, uh, we, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Right, okay. You might want to talk to somebody like Joe or maybe... Uh, Dave, his what, brother. Okay, Joey, what do you think? How did that, how did that relationship sustain itself? Because they seemed like... I got many. It. Nobody, really. There it was, wasn't... I mean, it was a Joe, change. Was Joe, a ch <laughs> See, <laughs> Joe? <laughs> but, I mean, because you were young and you were, you know, cutting your teeth out there and... But, that's, when I, that's, when I, that's when I threw the bat at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I came to Joe because I was scared because those guys were coming after me. And he goes, oh, I know somebody else you ought to meet. Blah, 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 blah. And so that. Uh, so you moved up the ranks pretty quick then, at, back in that time. Fairly quick, yeah. I think it's 14 years old when you have the, the baseball bat in your hand, right? Yeah. That was the guy who ripped your wetsuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He introduced him to Louie. Hmm. Yes. This is Neil Nacho T. Nacho did. Huh? Nacho Na did. Nacho Lopez brought me that bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's another all one, on you, Nacho. Another one thrown under the bus. <laughs> so that, how was, okay, how was that guy after six weeks in the hospital? You know, I never saw him, so <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> hopefully he did well. This is Neil TC with the Off The Net Radio Show. This portion of the show is being brought to you by, here's my glasses, Dogmatic Fine Arts. Small intimate studio displaying magnificent surf photography of some of our local talented surfaces, unique t-shirts, gifts, and works of art from all over the world. Pay yourself a visit to Dogmatic Arts, where the owner, Patrick, will even serve you refreshments while you're strolling the studio. Give him a call, 477-2062. This is Neil TC here tonight with Vince Collier and Joey Thomas. We'll be right back after this commercial. Chill Out Cafe on 41st Avenue Santa Cruz is not just a block from some of the world's best surf, but it is also where you can go relax and order the tastiest grub before and after your sash. Plump burritos, fresh salads, sky-high sandwiches, and a superb selection of hot and cold drinks. They have something for you. Go to ChillOutCafeSantaCruz.com to view their menu and to place your order to go, call 831-477-0543. Chill Out Cafe, where they roll the fatties. This is TC from the Santa Cruz boardroom. If there's one thing I know, it's that everybody listening wears shoes. Check it out. Santa Cruz boardroom has 3,000 pairs of shoes in stock from the best brands in the business. Nike, Adidas, America, Lakai, Converse, Globe, and Super. Come on down. Check out our 3,000 pairs of shoes. Pick up some new tread for your feet and be happy. Santa Cruz Boardroom, 825, 41st Afternoon, open every day of the week. Hello, I'm Schmitty of Schmitty's Custom Cabinets, Santa Cruz, California. 831-475-7809. Been in business since 1979. I am a one-man can-do cabinet shop for your kitchen or bath cabinets. Call me. I do layout and design. Just doing my part to support our local Off The Lip radio show. This is Schmitty from Schmitty's Custom Cabinets. 475-7809. That is in the 831 area code. Remember to be kind, enjoy the day, and Neil, you owe me for this. Hey, it's Julie from Toyota Santa Cruz, and it's 2014, a new year, and we've got lots of new things happening. But the one thing that won't be new is our great customer service. We're still going to be here for you seven days a week, sales, parts, service department, and shuttle. So Skin Dog, Stretch, Ratty, Elf, and Nelly, Meekster, come on, send some of your friends in to buy some new cars like you guys have. And make sure that you visit us on Facebook and also on our webpage at www.SantaCruzToyota.com or stop by and see me at the dealership and I'll personally take care of you at Highway 1 at 41st Avenue in Capitola. Julie from Toyota of Santa Cruz. Stop by and see her. She's the best.
And we are back with the Our Local <laughs> Our Local Sports Show. That's much my, my show tomorrow night. The Austin Radio Show on KSCO. These guys are these guys are talking done. surf design right now. These guys are talking sur- yeah. surf I design. I have honest Tasnik. Yeah, yeah we've had Tazzy on. Okay, your web your website again is joeythomassurfboards.com. dot com. Yep. Yeah, but just a, I just heard that they need to call you because your email's down on the website, right? Oh. Yeah, and so if somebody wants to get a surfboard, call direct maybe is the way to go. Sure. VC, you're shaping again. If somebody wants to get a board from you, you can... Tough luck. Good no, luck? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, He's got a new shaping room now. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Think about that. We got, Janet from, we got Janet from Santa Cruz. Hey, Janet, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you? We're doing good. My husband, um, he surfs and talks to you out in the water pretty often. Very, Neil? Tim- yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Anyway, um, he didn't want to call, so I called for him. Good for you. Someone's got he the ponies. T- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he, he was um, remembering John Arnold back then when Joey Thomas and Kevin Reed and stuff. Mm-hmm. John names. Arnold. We've had a lot of names come up here tonight. Yeah, definitely. John Arnold. So he, he just said, I wonder Island, what happened. Yeah. What happened to John Arnold? He moved to Hawaii. He moved to Hawaii? Yes, he lives on Oahu. Okay. Well, as far as I know. The king right. of the avenue. Yes, definitely. And then um, my husband's cousin is Ron Stevens, and that's who Brooke met um, Joey Thomas and, and uh, Vince. Remember Ron, right? Remember Ron? Ron? Yes. 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 Remember? yes. Somebody yes. remember Ron? Yeah, yes. we're, yeah we're scratch. They got it. They got it. <laughs> okay, slow. okay. That's it. My question's done. What's your husband's name? Brooke. Brooke, call him next time, Brooke. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Brooke. Come on, man. <laughs> Put Come on, on man. man. Give us a call. <laughs> Put on don't the man pants. We don't, okay. we, we don't bite. Vince does, but we don't. Okay. Hey, thanks, Janet. Talk oh, to you, you soon. You did. That was a good dare. Okay. Bye. Bye. She brought up a great name, Kevin Reed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we, we, we kind of overskipped him. I, I saw him a few months yeah. back, but he's around. And he's, he's hanging in there. He's doing okay. okay. But that's a great name. Yeah. TC, we have to have these guys come back. Oh, yeah. They've already said they will. We have not yeah, we've scratched the surface of what these guys are all about. And, uh, again, I, I, I think it's amazing you guys are, you know, it's been a while since you've really hung out together, too, huh? Yeah. I mean, no, the last time I talked to Joe was when we were standing on the point, that big south swell. Yeah. And I was telling him, I go, this is a day we're going to have to remember, Joe. That was a good day. That was an unbelievable <laughs> day. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know?